Long ago in Japan, a storyteller was traveling from one village to the next. But he was an old man, and hunger gnawed at his belly, and he did not travel as fast as he had in his youth. Evening came on, and he was still miles from his destination. But as he came up over a rise, there below him he saw a fencing school such as a samurai master might open to train young men in sword and strategy. There were many such in Japan in those days, and the custom was that any traveler who might come upon one could challenge any student or master to a duel. And should the traveler win, he would be granted food and shelter for the night. Now the storyteller was old, he had never touched a sword. But he gazed upon the school, at the fine buildings, the extensive grounds. And he knew a school as prosperous as this must be run by a great samurai indeed. And that gave him an idea. He went down to the gate, knocked upon it. And when a student answered, he said he was there to challenge the master of the school to a duel. Oh no, said the student. No, sir, our master is one of the greatest samurai in all the land. You will be defeated, and you will have to duel with sharp steel swords. You may well be killed. Oh, challenge, challenge me. I have been here but two weeks. I have learned nothing. You might defeat me, and even if you don't, we will duel with bamboo rods. At worst, you will get some bruises and bumps. Challenge me. No, said the storyteller. I will challenge the master and only he. And so it was arranged. All the school turned out to the fencing ground. Students and teachers, the master of the school, stood upon the ground and he looked upon the old man. He has no sword. Someone fetch one for him. But when the sword was brought, the old man said, no, I have no need. We would not take it. The sword was set in the ground before him, but he ignored it. <laughs> Very well, said the samurai. Still, we shall duel. The samurai put his hand to the hilt of his weapon and began to draw it forth. But even as he did, the old man spoke. Once there was a fox in love with a man. In a land where mountains rise out of the mist like islands from the sea, the fox dreamt every night of the man. The samurai replaced his sword within its sheath. This man has bested me. I concede the duel. No, cries of protest from students and teachers. Master, he struck no blow. He had no need. What is the first lesson I teach every one of you? That if you will win with the sword, you must be present in the moment. You must fix your attention upon your opponent and think of nothing else. You must feel the ground beneath your feet. You must be present. The moment this man began to speak, I wondered why a fox would love a man. I no longer felt the ground beneath my feet. I was no longer here. I had traveled to a land where mountains rise out of the mist like islands from the sea. A land where foxes dream of men. I was not present and he could have struck me at any instant. The fact that he did not does not matter. He has bested me. And he has won the right for food and shelter through his wisdom and skill. <laughs>